In this video, I'm going to show you how you could separate signatures into different folders so that different editors could control different signatures separately. For example, I have this green org folder. And here I have a number of email signatures that I can change the design on, that I can decide who they apply to, that I can uh, maybe even set a date time range or set rules on. However, only the people I've named here under folder security can edit the signatures in that folder. And only the signatures, well, the signatures in that folder can only be applied to emails that meet these criteria. So essentially, these two editors in here, they have complete control over the signatures in this folder, but they can't change any of the signatures over here in this folder. Only these two can. And additionally, if I wanted to, I could make it so that they can't edit anything outside their folder. They can't edit anything on this level either. I could go up to settings, security, and if I click edit, I could basically say, well, only this particular person, these users I'm naming here, have access to changing signatures and settings out on that main folder. Then, if I close out of here, let's say in here I make a mistake. And this signature, I accidentally apply it to everyone in the organization. Or maybe someone who works with the signatures in this folder, they forget that writing everyone in here would mean that that signature really applies to everyone, including people in the affinity folder, and so on. So instead, what we can do is we can set a scope on that folder. We can say, look, signatures in here can only apply to emails that already meet these criteria. You've got to be in this group or you have to be these specific users. Basically the same options I have available when I'm creating a signature. So even though you just saw me change that setting, I set that signature to apply to everyone, you would notice that technically it only applies if someone is also in that green org company within my organization. So for example, and here, this signature does apply to me, Brad Shepard, but the company name has to contain affinity. If I run a little test for myself, it actually applies the right signature from that other folder because on that first one, it's basically saying, okay, if the sender meets the condition in this rule, right, only if the company name contains affinity, use it. But you can see that it doesn't, got a little X, so it ignored that. And instead it went on to the next one and it gave me the correct signature, correct disclaimer, etc. Now lastly, one more point. Editors need to be given access specifically to a folder to have control over it. And uh, they wouldn't be able to change the settings on the folder itself, just the signatures in there. In Exclaimer Cloud, in the portal, if you click Subscriptions in here, this is where you would add additional people and give people access to the uh, Exclaimer Cloud portal, the Exclaimer Cloud interface, so that essentially they could log in as well. And this is where I can dictate, are they an editor where they only have access to what I say they have access to? Or are they an admin? where no matter what, they can change anything they want and they can change settings on folders. Well, with that, you can indeed now restrict who has access to what signatures in Exclaimer Cloud. Thanks for watching.